Hey guys, how you doing? It's Matthew Miller here with Mad Capper. And I'm working with my buddy right here in this picture over here. His name is Nick Logan. He's a local video marketer. And he's in the Midwest. And then I am a professional filmmaker and local video marketer for local businesses here in Los Angeles, North Hollywood area. And I just wanted to make a quick video. I'm, I, I do a lot of my work in Final Cut Pro 7. And we're sharing this Final Cut Pro 7 project back and forth. And I just can't stand how it's organized. I mean, it's a mess. So I thought I'd do a little quick tutorial on, on how to organize a Final Cut Pro 7 project. Just so you know, just so you have a good flow inside of the... Um, the, brow the browser window, which is this window. This window where all your clips and files are is the browser. This one right here, this is the viewer window. That's my company, Mad Capper Studios. And this is the canvas. This is where you actually see your finished product. I'm going to be talking about this browser pro uh, window over here. I'm going to blow this up so we can see. Okay. And I'm going to make these, make it, well, that's not going to work. I thought I'd make it large icons. Now, I'm going to tell you the, the reason, I think I can make it look better by, um, making the text bigger. I'm going to pause. I'll be right back. <laughs> ah, got it. Here it is. If you right click in the uh, open area you can go text size large so let's just do text size large I've got all kinds of Final Cut Pro tricks I can talk about but Final Cut Pro 7 is on the way out Final Cut X is here but I, I mean I've been a professional television editor for the past 12 years and I do a lot of my work in Avid and in, and in Final Cut lately as well um, so this is how we TV editors organize our file uh, projects because this is a mess as you can see so how we start is we make a bunch of new bins oh. and how you make your new bins is I think it's shift command N no that's a new window new bin is command B. So I'm going to do a command B, command B, command B, command B. I'm going to make a bunch of command B's right there. I hope this is helpful to someone. I know I'm doing it for a couple of my internal people, but I hope someone else gets uh, some use out of this. Okay, so you always start it out by a numeric number at the beginning. So an 01 cuts. All right, always 01 cuts. That's always first. 02, a lot of times I like to put my media next. 02 media. Next, I like to do 03 SFX. That's sound effects. I'm a big sound effects guy. Okay, uh, 04 EFX. That's motion effects. And fancy, fancy. You can do an 05. If you've got multiple editors working on a project, this is a really good trick. Just say editors, you know? And then inside that prod, inside that folder, BB, if you can do a couple Bs, BB, you know, put like um, <clears throat> 01 Nick, 02 Matt. And then inside each one of those, that's where that editor works. And they can send back this Final Cut project back and forth to each other. <clears throat> um, I think I need a couple more. So, BB. Um, I know I'm missing a few. Oh, yeah. I always have like an 06, like a miscellaneous. That's just for the schlock, the leftover, the junk. And 
of seven. You know, if you're doing like groups and string outs, more advanced stuff, you can start getting into stuff like that. If you've got an assistant working with you, you can have an assistant uh, folder. Um, 07, what can I think of? Um, SFX, EFX, uh, maybe titles, if you do a lot of title work. Okay, so now we're, now we're organized a little bit. <clears throat> Let's start off by, this is a piece of media right here. This is a, uh, one, of my lo one of my clients here, <laughs> Terry Harden Jackson. She's got a nutrition store. If you want to lose weight, go check her out. Health and Nutrition North Hollywood.com. It's working for me. Um, lovely family, lovely place. So that's media. So I'm going to just kind of like dump everything, dump that in my media folder. My Mad Capper Studios animation. That's media, but that's also motion effects. So you could have like another motion effects folder too if you needed it. But I'm just going to stick it in media for now. This is a cut, MCS blog, okay? This is, and it's labeled wrong. I'm actually gonna, I'll, go, I'll just go over the labeling of it as well. Hopefully this is helpful to someone besides just me. <laughs> okay, this is, oh, here we go. Titles and, um, here, this will be helpful. Titles, oops. Titles and stills. So if you edit with a lot of still pictures, You'll want to have them in their own folder, and you can even start. What you can start drilling it down even more once you just get them in that folder, so you know all your stills go in there, and um, you'll see, you can see what's offline easier. You can see what's changed easier, and all that mumbo jumbo. M MCS MM logo animation. I'm gonna put that in media for now. What's this? Oh, that's just Nick and me talking to each other <laughs> doing our little interview. That's definitely media. Um. Oh look, pics. Look at that. See? Pics. It's not supposed to be labeled pics. It's supposed to be labeled stills. And it's 07. Titles and stills. I'm actually just gonna call this folder stills right now. I'm just gonna stick those right in there. So anything that has to do with stills. And the screenshot, that's a still. Sound effects. See how we already had a sound effect folder? Whoa, it's heavy duty, man. A lot of stuff. I'm going to transfer all my swishes and whooshes into my sound effect folder. Boom, like that. Now I'm going to get rid of this sucker. Testimonials. Okay. Now, that's a decent name for a sequence. That's actually a sequence right there. If you click on it, you can see that it's... Uh... Sorry, my computer's slow. Spinning, spinning beach ball. Um... <laughs> These are just testimonials for my business. That's the wonderful Terry Harden Jackson of Envy Nutrition. But I don't want to have it uh, title uh, labeled just testimonials because what if um, I I want to make changes to this sequence or I, I want to add other testimonials to it? I just have one sequence with all my testimonials on it that I add to it. So it should be testimonials underscore um, today's date o two. 25, 12, never put slashes or, sc or scratches or marks, always underscore. Um, sometimes I'm even really anal and I only have um, capitals in my words, but I'm not going to do that today. Underscore, um, who's working on this? MM, Matthew Miller, that's me. And then underscore version one. So now if my buddy Josh were to come along and edit on that sequence or Nick were to come along and edit on that sequence, they would change their initials, they would change the date, and then they would stick that sequence. If you can see, I opened up the cut, <coughs> excuse me, I opened up the cut folder. In this cut folder, I'm gonna have an old cuts uh, one, because you only wanna have so many uh, sequences in a folder. So I'm gonna, uh, for example, I'm gonna say that I worked on, I had an old one yesterday, so I'm gonna do an option drag. I'm gonna stick it in there just to show you that if this were an old cut, you could have old stuff in here. So this is old testimonial, you know. Just to give you an idea of what's up. Okay, so what's this, what's this? There's Terry. 
I don't know what that is. I think it's just media. So I'm going to stick that in media. And then Windy Day. That's music. And we don't have a freaking music. Jeez, this is a big, it's a big mistake. We've got we to have music. So, oh, wait. Music, right? Okay. What's this? So that's just a nothing folder. I'm going to get rid of that sucker. What's in here? M uh, see? Now, this is interesting. MCS underscore 021712 underscore shoot. I went on a, a shoot. Let's see who this person is. Okay. It's me and my lovely wife doing a little shoot in our studio here. Um, so I always like to label what it's for, the date, and what it is. So in this case, MCS, Madcapper Studios, that's our company, the date, 021712, and then shoot. That means we did a shoot. So this is media. So that can literally go right inside of your media folder. So now I'm gonna open up this media folder. See how it's getting, it's starting to get a little cl cluttered in here, but you can use the same organizing techniques in this media folder as you did outside. So you know that all your media moving videos in this folder. And I really like to label the name, the date, and the folder, the shoot. Sometimes you shoot on these um, DSLR cameras like we do and it shoots in an H.264 codec, but you need it to be ProRes. So you'll have both medias in there. You'll do a, a conversion, have your ProRes in there, and you'll have your original media in there just so you know where it's at. And you'll have like, um, you know, media all or, this is more of an advanced thing, but I just kind of touched on that real briefly. Okay, and then picks, we don't need that anymore. And then MCSM picks, we don't need that anymore. And then envy shoot. See? Envy shoot 011712. That means I went to the Envy Nutrition store and I made a shoot. So I think that's it. I think that's it for now. If I go inside of this cuts folder, maybe I can help you out a little bit in here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna rename this sequence right here. This is the MCS blog Nick Logan video sites. This is just me and Nick, you know, the content of the of the sequence doesn't matter. It could be anything. But this situ this is just me and my buddy Nick talking to each other. But that name of that sequence is just horrendous. So what is the purpose of this of these interviews? Well for me, they're for my blog. So MCS underscore blog underscore uh, Nick uh, and say so I want to keep it short. So Nick and Matt don't like that either. <laughs> I'll do this. Nick and Matt, the date we uh, the date of this cut, or which version or the date of we shot it. This is Mitt, Nick and Matt. This is the first interview we did. So I'm gonna go vid 01 and then the date which is going to be 02, 25, 12. I know it's long, but this is going to help you out in the end. I'm telling you, MM underscore version one. I know that's a long ass name, but it's got all the relevant information you're going to need. If you ever have to come back, if you have to ever have to find it in the future, you want to steal some of it and use it for another video, repurpose it, which is so darn helpful. So just remember what it's for, what the purpose is for, the name of like MCS, Madcapper Studios, it's for my blog. It's Nick and Matt doing an interview. It's the first of our video series, Video 1, and the date. And then it's got, which you can't see it in there, but I'll scroll over. It's got MM and then V1. So MM for Matt Miller and then version 1. And the reason you want to have version 1, version 2, version 3 is because maybe I'll have three, ver three versions of that same sequence on that same day. You know what I mean? So that's what we do in Hollywood. Hope it helps. Um, look how nice and clean that is. Yeah, anal retentive editors. That's what we are. Anyway, hope that helps. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>